is Larry with Tales of a Shooter. Today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to crop a photo using your iPad or your iPhone or your iPod Touch without the need of a separate app. So if you've gone through the App Store you've seen tons and tons of photo applications anywhere from Photoshop to I don't know whatever else there's a lot of photo applications in there but in case you don't want to have to buy one or worry about downloading one you just want to be able to use the the built-in Apple photo app I'm gonna show you how to crop a photo using just that app so let's go take a look here we go okay so this is how you crop a photo on an iPad also on an iPhone or iPod touch without having to use a separate program so if you don't want to buy a program you know there some of them are free I think some of them are about 99 cents but if you want to be able to crop a photo and send it without having to you know pay the 99 cents or $1.99 or 4.99 or whatever else uh, they may charge you on uh, on you know in the App Store for it this is how you can do it go right here to your uh, go to your photos uh, page let's find a photo here uh... let's tap there we'll find a let's find a photo let's go to uh... let's see let's try this one here so there we go we can see the photo that's there and you can see there's a lot of extra room around the photo so all you basically do is do the pinch and zoom here bring it up to where you want it let's say let's say about there that looks about good there so we have it cropped to the way we want it you know it's pinched in and zoomed in the way we want it now all you do is you you go there you push the home button and the and the uh... the top button here that that actually locks your phone or your ipad and you push them at the same time and let go if you saw that it gave you a quick white flash and it made a sound like a camera now when you go back to your to your photos go just to your photo uh your photo page there you will see let's see saved photos in your album and there you go there is your photo cropped just the way you wanted it and now you can send it wherever you want email it save it however you want to do it but there is a quick way to actually save your photos without having to pay for a program or an app to do so alright you guys well there you go that's how you do it you just make sure you click the top button and the home button at the same time after you pinched and zoomed to the way you want your photo cropped and there you go brand new photo it's in your saved photo album and it will look just as nice as you want it to now mind you, you are pinching and zooming a little bit, so there might be a little loss in resolution, but it's still going to look pretty nice. You should be able to email it out and have a nice looking photo. So, this is Larry with Tales of a Shooter, and until next time, keep on shooting.